Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we can write x plus 1 as x minus 1 plus 2. That is, what we have here becomes 4 raised to power x minus 1 plus 2 and minus 4 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 40 on this side. The next step here, we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m plus n, the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. At this year, we treat x minus 1 as m and 2 as n. As this we have, 4 raised to power x minus 1 times 4 squared then minus 4 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 40 on this side. The next step here, we have 4 raised to power x minus 1 common. When we factor it out, we have 4 raised to power x minus 1 into bracket here. We have 4 square left and minus 1 left here equals to 40 on this side. The next step, this same thing as 4 raised to the power x minus 1 multiply by 4 square 4 times 4 that's 16 minus 1 then equals to 40 here which implies we have 4 raised to the power x minus 1 times 15 equals to 40 from here. The next step, we divide both sides by 15. That is, divide this side by 15. Also, divide this side by 15, which implies here 15 cancel each other. We have 4 raised to the power x minus 1 left, which is equal to 40 over 15 here. The next step here. We can rewrite this as 4 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to 40. We can write that as 5 times 8. Then over here, 15 as 5 times 3. But this 5 here cancelled each other. And we have 4 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to 8 over 3. The next step here. We take the log on both sides. That is here we have log 4 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to log 8 over 3 here. Then here we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to the power p, it is same thing as p log m. That is what we have here becomes x minus 1 times log 4 then equals to log 8 over 3 here. The next step here we divide both side by log 4. That is divide this side by log 4. Also divide this side by log 4 which implies here log 4 cancel each other. We have x minus 1 left which is equals to log 8 over 3 divided by log 4. Then next step here, this follows from the log log n. When we have log a over b, this same thing as log a minus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x minus 1 equals to log 8 minus log 3 over log 4. The next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x minus 1 equals to log 8 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then, and what we have here, we can write it as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cube, and also 4 as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. That is, here yeah, this becomes x minus 1 equals to log 
2 cube over log 2 squared minus log 3 over log 2 squared. Then next step here, we apply the power of logarithm, that is 3 comes here, 2 comes here, also from here 2 comes here, and we have x minus 1 equals to 3 log 2 over 2 log 2 minus log 3 over 2 log 2 which implies here log 2 cancel each other we have 3 over 2 left that is x minus 1 equals to 3 over 2 minus here we can write this as 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2 then we take minus 1 to the right hand side become plus and we have x equals to 1 plus 3 over 2 then minus 1 over 2 log 3 to base 2 when we apply change of this here then yeah what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus 3 over 2 give us 5 over 2 then minus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2 then we can still bring this together some fraction and we have x equals to SEM here that's 2 and we have 5 minus log 3 base 2 so here we have the value of x in this problem that's 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 5 minus log 3 plus 2 all over 2. Then what we have here becomes 4 is to power 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 plus 1 here then minus also here we have 4 is to power 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 minus 1 here is equals to 40 on this side then from what we have we can rewrite this and they bring this power together as one here. That is, we have 4 is to power s m o p l s t 2, and we still have 5 minus log 3 base 2. Then here become plus 2 now, then minus. Also, here we bring this together. We have s m does 2, we still have 5 minus log 3 base 2. Then we have minus 2 now, then is equals to 40 on this side then here we have 5 plus 2 that's 7 that's 4 is to the power 7 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 then minus also here 4 is to the power 5 minus 2 that's 3 then minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 then is equals to 40 on this side then next step we can express 4 as 2 square which is raised to power 7 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 then minus also here we have 2 square which is raised to power 3 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 40 here then here this power multiplies and 2 here cancels each other we have 2 raised to power 7 minus log 3 base 2 then minus also these two cancel each other we have 2 raised to the power 3 minus log 3 base 2 is equals to 40 on this side then for the law of indices a raised to the power n minus n can be written as a raised to the power n over a raised to the power n which implies we can express this as 2 raised to the power 7 over 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2 then minus also 2 raised to the power 3 over 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2 is equals to 40 
on this side that is here 2 raised to the power 7 implies 2 multiply itself 7 times that's 128 then over here follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a which is equals to b that is here this same thing as 3 then minus 2 raised to the power 3 that's 8 then over 3 is it equals to 40 on this side that is here the SCM is 3 and we have 128 minus 8 that's 120 then is it equals to 40 here and of course 120 over 3 gives us 40 which is equals to 40 on this side now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell and share this video give a thumbs up and put your comment see you next slide and bye for now